Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing an awe-inspiring display of vibrant colors, green, purple, and red dancing across the horizon. That's the magic of auroras, and this week, you might have a chance to witness one of the most spectacular shows nature has to offer. But there's more to these lights than meets the eye. Auroras are the visible effect of powerful geomagnetic storms, which happen when bursts of solar energy from the sun interact with the Earth's magnetic field. In the coming days, we're expecting a significant geomagnetic storm, possibly one of the strongest we've seen in recent years. This isn't just a show for aurora chasers. These storms can disrupt power grids, interfere with radio and GPS signals, and even pose risks to satellites orbiting our planet. NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center has issued a G4 warning, meaning the storm could be severe and its effects widespread. It's rare to experience a storm of this magnitude, but when it does happen, it captures the attention of scientists, governments, and everyday people alike. So why does this matter to you? This storm could affect everything from your internet connection to your ability to see the northern lights, depending on where you live. We're about to dive into what makes this storm so intense, why it's unique, and how it might impact us in ways you may not expect. And, of course, we'll explore where and when you should be looking up to catch a glimpse of this extraordinary phenomenon. Auroras are much more than just beautiful light shows. They're a stunning result of the sun's energy interacting with Earth's magnetic field in ways that are both mesmerizing and scientifically fascinating. Here's how it all works, the sun constantly releases charged particles into space in what we call the solar wind. Most of the time, Earth's magnetic field protects us from these particles. But during a geomagnetic storm, the sun sends out a massive burst of particles known as a coronal mass ejection, or CME, which disrupts that balance. When these charged particles from a CME reach Earth, they collide with gases like oxygen and nitrogen in our atmosphere. These collisions release energy in the form of light, creating the swirling, colorful auroras that stretch across the sky. The type and color of aurora you see depend on which gases are involved and how high up the collisions occur. For example, green auroras are usually the result of oxygen atoms, while purple or red auroras often come from nitrogen. During a strong geomagnetic storm like the one expected this week, these particles can reach lower latitudes, bringing auroras to places where they're usually never seen. Typically, you have to be in northern regions like Alaska, Canada, or Scandinavia to experience auroras, but now people across the lower Midwest and even northern California might get a chance to see this incredible display. The timing of this storm means the auroras could be especially vivid, potentially visible over major cities and rural areas alike. If conditions are right, you might see those colorful lights dancing across the sky in regions that rarely experience such sights. This event is not only a rare treat for aurora enthusiasts but also a reminder of how dynamic and interconnected our solar system truly is. The same phenomenon that makes these lights so beautiful is also a reminder of the immense power the sun wields over our planet. So, as you look forward to this potential display, consider it an invitation to witness firsthand the effects of the sun's energy on Earth. It's a chance to see something rare and beautiful, and it's also a moment to reflect on how intimately connected our planet is to the rest of the cosmos. Geomagnetic storms aren't just celestial spectacles, they come with a serious side that impacts our daily lives in ways we might not even notice. When a powerful solar event like the one predicted this week occurs, the effects go beyond beautiful auroras and can disrupt the technology we depend on. You might not realize it, but our planet's infrastructure is surprisingly vulnerable to these storms. They can overload power grids, damage satellite systems, interfere with communications, and even pose risks to astronauts and aircraft. When a geomagnetic storm hits, it can induce currents in power lines. These extra currents can strain transformers and other components of the electrical grid, sometimes leading to widespread outages. In 1989, a similar storm caused a blackout that left the entire province of Quebec, Canada, in the dark for hours. Utility companies around the world are now more prepared, but severe storms still pose a significant risk. If the storm reaches the G4 level as forecasted, power companies will need to be on high alert to manage the additional load on their systems. Satellites in orbit are also at risk. 
these storms can disrupt satellite communications and interfere with GPS signals, which affects everything from air traffic control to the navigation apps we rely on daily. The charged particles from a geomagnetic storm can damage satellite electronics and even change their orbits, making it harder for ground stations to maintain contact. In some cases, it can take days or weeks for satellites to recover from a storm, depending on its intensity. Beyond satellites, high-frequency radio signals used for emergency and military communications can become unreliable during strong storms. This can complicate everything from commercial flights to maritime navigation, especially near the polar regions where these effects are most intense. Pilots may need to reroute flights to avoid communication blackouts and increased radiation exposure. Geomagnetic storms can also expose astronauts and high-altitude flights to higher levels of radiation. During these events, astronauts on the International Space Station, for example, need to seek shelter in better protected areas to minimize exposure. Flights over the poles, where Earth's magnetic field provides less shielding, may also be rerouted to protect passengers and crew from radiation spikes. In short, while we often focus on the beauty of auroras during these events, it's crucial to remember that these storms can have very real, very immediate effects on our modern world. Understanding these risks helps us appreciate the delicate balance of our technological systems and the importance of resilience as we continue to explore the mysteries of space. Monitoring and predicting geomagnetic storms is a complex science that combines data from space-based satellites, ground-based observatories, and real-time models of the sun's behavior. Agencies like NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center SWPC, play a critical role in interpreting these signals and issuing timely warnings to mitigate potential impacts. But understanding exactly when and how these storms will unfold is far from straightforward, it involves a blend of cutting-edge technology and a deep understanding of our solar system's dynamics. The Sun goes through an 11-year solar cycle of increased and decreased activity, and we're currently in an active phase. This cycle brings more frequent and intense solar events, including sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections CMEs. SWPC and similar agencies monitor the Sun's surface for signs of these events, using instruments like the Solar Dynamics Observatory SDO, and the Deep Space Climate Observatory SCOVR. These satellites observe the sun in various wavelengths, tracking sunspot formations and measuring solar wind speed, density, and magnetic field orientation, key indicators of how an impending storm might affect Earth. The intensity of a geomagnetic storm is measured on a scale from G1 to G5, with G1 being minor and G5 representing an extreme event. The storm predicted for this week is rated at G4, which is severe. This level means we could see substantial impacts on our power grids and communication systems, along with widespread auroras. To give context, the last G4 event was just a few months ago, in May, and it caused significant auroral displays that stretched as far south as Colorado and Kansas. However, even with advanced forecasting, predicting the exact behavior of these storms remains challenging. One of the trickiest aspects is determining the storm's magnetic orientation. If the storm's magnetic field aligns southward with Earth's, it can interact more strongly with our magnetic field, producing more intense effects. Conversely, if it remains northward, the interaction weakens, and the impacts are less severe. This is why real-time monitoring is crucial. Scientists closely observe the orientation of the magnetic field as the storm approaches to gauge its potential severity. Real-time data from the solar wind is monitored to update forecasts, and SWPC issues alerts through various channels to keep the public and critical infrastructure operators informed. For those interested in seeing the auroras, SWPC's aurora forecasts and tools like 30-minute predictions can provide a heads-up on the best viewing times and locations. Ground-based observatories across the globe also collect data on magnetic activity and contribute to our understanding of these events as they unfold. Public awareness and readiness are essential, as no two storms are exactly alike. The technology we use to forecast and track them has advanced tremendously, but uncertainty remains. Scientists work continuously to refine their models and improve prediction accuracy, 
but the sheer complexity of space weather means there will always be an element of the unknown. That's part of what makes space weather so fascinating, it's a reminder that we're part of a dynamic solar system with forces beyond our control, yet within our reach to study and appreciate. As we monitor this current storm, the aim is not only to enjoy the beauty of auroras but also to recognize the vulnerability of our systems and the importance of preparedness. This event is an opportunity to learn more about how our planet interacts with the broader cosmos, influencing everything from our atmosphere to our technology. In the face of a geomagnetic storm, we're reminded of the delicate balance required to maintain our way of life and the relentless forces of nature that can shift that balance in an instant. Geomagnetic storms are humbling reminders of our planet's place in the universe. They reveal how intricately connected we are to the sun and underscore our dependence on both technology and nature. While these storms can bring the beauty of auroras to unexpected places, they also expose vulnerabilities in the infrastructure that powers our daily lives. From power outages to disrupted communications, they highlight how much we still have to learn about living in harmony with space weather. As we witness these events, it's worth contemplating the deeper significance of our relationship with the cosmos. The universe is vast, unpredictable, and full of energy that shapes our world in countless ways. Each solar storm, whether minor or severe, reminds us of this reality. It's a chance to marvel at the natural world and reflect on the delicate balance that keeps our modern systems running. And now, as we prepare for the storm expected this week, it's an opportunity to engage more actively with the phenomena that define our planet. For those lucky enough to catch the auroras, take a moment to enjoy the spectacle and think about the forces at play behind the scenes. For those interested in space weather, consider diving deeper into how these storms affect us and what we can do to anticipate and adapt to them in the future. If you found this exploration of geomagnetic storms fascinating, subscribe for more insights into the wonders and mysteries of our universe. By staying informed and prepared, we can better appreciate the beauty and power of space weather. Don't forget to like and share this video with others who might enjoy the view, and if you're feeling inspired, consider supporting the channel. Your contributions help bring more content that connects us with the cosmos. Stay curious, stay prepared, and let's keep looking up.